Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Crafty Barista haul to share with you. So I have not ordered from her, and I've only ever ordered from her twice before, so this is my third order. But my last order from her was in October, and I know it was for a bunch of Halloween stuff, uh, pumpkin scents, apple scents, that kind of thing. And I was scrolling through Facebook, and I saw that she was having a 25% off sale for everything in the store. And she had a lot of stuff, and the amount of stuff that I got, I actually ended up getting a really decent discount with the 25% off. And um, I'm pretty sure that sale was still going throughout the weekend. I think it's over now, but I'm not exactly sure. So I'm going to jump in and show you everything that I got. Now, when I came home and I saw that there was a medium flat rate box waiting for me, I was like, okay, this has to be something else. Like, I don't think I ordered that much from a crafted barista to get a medium flat rate box, but I did. And this is coming from someone who is a packing wizard like she i don't know how she does it she makes it so neat and organized every single time i seriously seriously don't know how she does it and it's like it's like layer after layer after layer so i think i said this in my first video that i ever made about her it's like the top layer like you peel back the tissue paper and there's a bunch of stuff and then you peel back another piece of tissue paper and there's a bunch of stuff i really didn't realize how much i actually bought until i was like started pulling things out so that was kind of funny. So I did get quite a bit. So this is a note that I got from her. Tara, thank you so very much. Happy melting, Diane. And then this is her business card. I love this. A crafty barista. I know that she owns a coffee shop as well. So that's where that comes from. And then this is all of her information. She has Facebook. She has Instagram. And then that's her website. So I'm going to put this up here as usual. Okay. So I got really awesome samples. Uh, she actually sent me two lip balms and then two wax samples. So the first one that I got is blueberry stuffed French toast, crisp French toast with cinnamon and butter and powdered sugar stuffed with blueberries and delicious creamy vanilla or uh, creamy filling, sorry. And uh, I love these teeny tiny little brittle samples that she gives. <laughs> it's really cute. That's a really strong blueberry scent, I need to say. First and foremost, but you definitely get the cinnamon and blueberry, so that's a really nice combination. And then she also sent me jam and vanilla wafers, crisp vanilla wafers smothered in jam I am. And I actually did grab a jam I am scent, and I'm so glad that I did because this smells amazing. I mean, this is so tiny. I don't know if I'm going to get a throw from this, but this smells really, really good. So I am glad that I got the jam scent or like the tart whatever okay then i got the two lip balms that she sent me which is really nice so i got one in red velvet cupcake i haven't opened these yet so i haven't tried them yet but and then she also sent me one in hot buttered popcorn so that was super super sweet thank you so much if you're watching for sending me all of that stuff and then I also got a piece of candy, Swedish Fish. I love Swedish Fish. I have not had one of those in such a long time. So thank you for all the extras. I really appreciate it. So now I'm going to get into what I ordered. So I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to start pulling things out. Now, if you've never ordered from a Crafty Barista, she is known for her shapes, basically. She has so many different shapes on her website. She definitely does not stick to just one thing. Uh, she has so many different things. She's always coming out with new shapes. Um, and sizes and like really cute stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I got this cute little um, tiki tacky cottages or something, I think she calls them. Um, and this is in Coconut Crush, a sweet creamy blend of cream soda and coconut. Now I didn't know that the cream soda was in here when I first picked it up, but I'm really glad that I ordered it because it does not have any fizzy note at all. It just smells like a really creamy, sweet coconut scent. I love this. And I can tell in there already that I think there's gonna be some mica glitter, mica glitter, however you say it, which I love. I don't like the chunky glitter. I mean, I'll still melt it if it has it on there, but I'm not a big fan of that. I like the little mica glitter, whatever it's called. All right, then I got a four pack of these really awesome seashell shapes and starfish. 
and there's a little crab down there. I love the colors that she uses too. Like she doesn't just stop at shapes. Like she really is like very, very talented. All right, so this is Oceanside Bonfire, Bonfire Bliss, and Salty Sea Air. Now, I didn't know what this was when I first picked it up because she doesn't have scent descriptions like right next to the product. Um, and I honestly didn't know where the scent description list was. But I thought it was going to be um, Salty Sea Air and Toasted Marshmallow, like that Beachy Night scent, and it actually is. I think it's the Salty Sea Air and then the Bonfire Bliss is like the Toasted Marshmallow um, woodsy scent. So, and, and you know, they're together. This smells amazing. It smells like Beach Nights, basically, with a little bit more of a smokiness to it. So I don't know if it has um, the woody note or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Okay, then I grabbed a cake. Look how cute this is. It's so adorable. In strawberry shortcake, juicy wiped strawberries, moist angel food cake, and whipped cream. Now, this is one of the first scents that I tried from her over a year ago, and I fell in love. I got a big waffle in this scent, and I loved it. I've said it a million times, and I'm going to say it again. This is Happy Birthday from Super Tarts. There is no difference at all whatsoever. It smells exactly like Happy Birthday. So if you are looking for Happy Birthday and you can't find it on the Super Tarts website, this is an amazing alternative. It's just as strong as happy birthday when melting. I love this. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is what started my strawberry kick. <laughs> and I started buying strawberry from everybody. This is what started it. Okay, then I've been seeing these everywhere. Everybody has been hauling these and I needed to get one. This is her snap wheels is what she calls them. And this is in Cotton Candy Explosion, an explosion of spun sugar floss. Now, first of all, look at the colors. That is gorgeous. I love the tie-dye effect. And these are so cool. And they're big. They're, like, bigger than the size of my hand. Like, they're really big. And this is just so cute. I wanted one for such a long time. Oh, it smells so good. I love her cotton candy. She has a really great, great cotton candy scent, I must say. Okay, then I got another one of those little cottages. This one is blue. And this is... T Tiffany's coconut cream cupcakes cupcakes at Tiffany's and coconut cream now also she the crafty barista is what got me into cupcakes at Tiffany's I ordered a big cupcake and I kind of just went for the cupcakes at Tiffany's thinking you know it's going to be fine and then she had the scent cupcakes at Tiffany's that started the whole trend I don't care what anybody says she started the trend she had it first or maybe not had it first, but she is really what brought it out to be what it is today. And so many vendors use it now. It's such an amazing scent. Hers is amazing. I can't get over how good this is. And then with the coconut cream cupcakes, it's even better. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I cannot wait to melt this. And this was poured in January. So this has had plenty of cure time by now. Oh my God. I love that so much. All right, going off of Cupcakes at Tiffany's, I got a donut in Cupcakes at Tiffany's, and the scent description for it is toffee, a hint of chocolate, and loads of buttercream, vanilla, and cake. Smells just like walking into a cupcake shop, and she is absolutely right. This is adorable. <laughs> I love the donut shape. That is so cute. This is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. A lot of this stuff is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, then I got... Caramel pretzel bar, gooey caramel dipped pretzels drizzled with chocolate. And that's what this looks like. Look how cute that is. I can't remember. I don't think I've had this before, but part of me thinks that I have. I don't know why I'm thinking that. I don't think I did, but at the same time, it looks and smells really familiar. So I don't know, but this is really nice. It's a really nice caramel chocolate scent. I like that a lot. Right, then I got a pack of three hearts in cinnamon strawberry, a blend of fresh strawberries and red hot cinnamon. Now, I didn't realize it was red hot cinnamon, otherwise I probably wouldn't have ordered it, but I am so glad that I did. This is so good, guys. It is her strawberry jam scent, the one that's in that strawberry shortcake, and then there's a hint of cinnamon. It's definitely not too spicy, not overpowering. It's a sweeter cinnamon. I know it says red hot, but I'm telling you, it's a sweeter cinnamon. And it blends so nicely with that strawberry. Oh, God, I cannot wait to melt that. I know I say that all the time, but that is just, like, really, really good. Okay, then I got these tiny donuts in blackberry jelly donut. 
I don't think you need me to read the scent description for that one. <laughs> I love her blackberry scent. It's so good. It smells just like the one from Up the Creek. That's amazing. I like that a lot. You mostly just smell, you know, blackberry jam. All right. And then I got a waffle at Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I don't think I realized that I got the donut, so I don't know why I got the waffle as well. But this is like a smaller waffle than um, the strawberry one that I got in, um, you know, last year. Oh, I can just smell this all day. It's so good. I love it. It's just such an amazing scent. All right. Then I got this cute little bone. And it looks scary. It's like, it looks like it's like covered in blood and guts. I don't know why I think that, but that's the first thing that came into my head. And this is apple, our harvest apple bread, apple picking and zucchini bread. I love her apple picking scent. It's like really unique, really sweet. I love it. There's definitely cinnamon going on in there. I can smell the zucchini bread. I love this so much. And like I said, I've been really into fall scents lately. I don't know why, but I have been. All right, then I got this other little waffle shape. I love, like, the drizzle on there. In vanilla cinnamon toast, crispy toast covered with cinnamon sugar and butter and a splash of vanilla. This is so cute. I love this. Now, this is a little bit spicy for me because I mostly just smell cinnamon. It's not horrible. It kind of reminds me of that cinnamon toast crunch. Um, blend of the mini melters that I got from Rose Girl. So it is a little bit cinnamony, but I can definitely mix that with something and tone it down. And then I got this cute little claw or, you know, um, dog print, paw, whatever, in caramel marshmallow kettle corn. That's really cute. This is really good. It's so crazy because it you literally smell like the saltiness from the, the kettle corn. That's so strange. That's really cool though. That's going to be a unique one when I put that in the warmer. That's actually really cool. Okay. I got another bone. This is pink with the green in strawberry zucchini bread. I love strawberry zucchini bread. I do not have enough of this in my collection. I'm telling you. Hers is really nice. It's like a perfect blend, 50-50, of strawberry and zucchini bread. That is amazing. I wish I'd gotten more of that because that is really good. I got a little star. Look how cute. In apple fluff, apple pie, marshmallows, anyone? <laughs> That's cute. So I didn't know what to expect from this one. I didn't know if it was going to smell like the apple from her apple picking. And it does. It smells exactly like the apple picking, just mixed with a little bit of like fluffy marshmallow. It's not much different to be totally honest. There's a little bit of something in there that I'm picking up that's a little bit different, but other than that, it's kind of the same. Okay, and then I got some more mini donuts. That's what these ones look like. And donuts at the apple orchard, warm, sweet cinnamon donuts and freshly pressed apple cider. So again, didn't know what to expect from this one, if it was gonna smell like the apple pickings. But this one is totally different. I actually like this blend more. You definitely smell like, they, it legit smells like apple cider donuts. Have you guys ever had those or is that a New England thing? I'm sure it's everywhere. Um, apple cider donuts are really, really big here and this smells exactly like that. It's warm, it's cozy, it's like really sweet apples with cinnamon. You get the doughy note in there. This is so good. That's another one I wish I would have gotten more of. Let's save that for last. Then I got a couple of these little coffee beans. I love, I've always loved these. Um, these are all scents that I've had before that I love, so I picked up some more. So I got Sugar Cookie Latte. Her coffee scents are so good. So good. I think this is my favorite one that I've had. I don't know why I didn't get more of these. These were like 90 cents. Like her prices are ridiculously inexpensive and that's why it's so easy to go overboard when you're buying from her because you're like oh this is only 90 cents or this is only a dollar this is only a dollar 10 you know what I mean but then it really starts to add up but this is really good I like this one a lot I feel like I'm being really loud and obnoxious but whatever okay 
And then I got another one in Strong Cup of Joe. Strong, dark roast coffee, hot and freshly brewed. So that sounded right up my alley. I love like the no frill, dark roast coffee bean scent. And that's exactly what this is. No frill, no sugar, no sweetness to it. Barely any sweetness to it, I should say. And this is like in your face, dark roast, espresso, no cream, no sugar, no caramel sauce, no whipped cream, nothing. Just the coffee. I love that one. Okay, then I got this adorable jar in Jam I Am, which is blackberry jam with hints of huckleberries, strawberries, and raspberries. And that just sounded so good to me. This is so cute. Oh, and it smells amazing. This is a really good berry scent. I'm just going to take it out so you can see it. Look how adorable that is. Like you see, you can definitely see like it's going to be like a Mika glitter um, wax tart. But oh my god, that is so yummy smelling. I want to mix this with fresh baked bread. That will be really good. And her wax is so soft, so it's like really easy to cut into as well. Okay, I got this cute little owl, I love owls, in Wildberry Cheesecake, Fresh Berries and Creamy Cheesecake. So I didn't know if this was going to be like Wildberry Mousse or if it was going to be like a Wildberry Scone type of scent. It's definitely more Wildberry Scone than anything. It's not horrible. I don't hate this scent. It's not my favorite scent in the world, but it's something I would still melt on occasion. So I will definitely keep this one around because I do like it. I just don't love it. I got another um, coffee bean in local Java joint. It smells just like walking into your local coffee shop. I love this one too. This one is very similar to Strong Cup of Joe. It's just a little bit sweeter. And it's not as strong, but it's still a really, really nice coffee scent. And I've been really stocking up on coffee scents lately because that's all I ever want to melt in the morning. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I keep picking up something that I'm trying to save for last. <laughs> okay, I got these really cute mustaches. Look how freaking cute those are. And the mustaches are all in masculine scents or like outdoorsy, earthy scents. So I got this one in Campfire Marshmallow. And her Campfire Marshmallow is not like the Bath & Body Works type. It even says on here, um, my own take on marshmallows by the fireside. This one is way more smoky. Like, I don't smell marshmallows at all. This is like straight wood. <laughs> like, just chopped the tree down, took it, and threw it in the fireplace wood. There's no marshmallow. There's no sweetness to it. It's just the woody scent. And I don't, again, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. But I can mix it with marshmallow fireside or fluffy marshmallow or something. And um, that should be fine. Or I can mix it with this one, which is another mustache in smoked vanilla bean a deliciously rustic fragrance that blends smoke and sweet vanilla bean this is so good i love this see this is more like campfire marshmallows than that one <laughs> but it's really good i'm definitely going to mix these two together or maybe mix it with my tobacco scents that i have like a caramel tobacco scent that would be really good too Okay, I got a bunt cake, and this is pretty big. These are like the sizes of um, L3's bunt cakes in butterscotch vanilla wafers. And I know I've had this scent before. I'm pretty sure that I have. It smells really familiar. Oh, I love it. Her butterscotch scent is really, really nice. I like it a lot. That smells very, very good. Okay, and then the last thing that I got that I've been saving for last because it is adorable is this look how adorable that is like you can tell she really works hard on a lot of her stuff because there's a lot of detail in that i feel and like different colors the glitter and the oh it's so cute so this is in unicorn munchies a blend of serendipity vanilla bean noel and marshmallow i love this scent i love the unicorn i don't think i'm gonna be able to melt it i'm telling you now it's gonna sit there <laughs> i'm telling you now oh my god this is amazing I love this. I want to blend this with strawberry. Like, that's the first thing that comes to my mind when I smell serendipity is, ooh, I want to blend that with strawberry. <laughs> oh, this that's so good. And this is really big, too. Like, it's heavy. So, like, comparison to my hand. It's pretty big. It's 
thick. Okay, so that's everything that I ended up getting. Um, this was definitely on a whim type of haul. Um, I kind of was just like scrolling and ended up seeing it. Um, I'm going to talk about this more in another video that there is something I wanted to talk about. But I haven't really been looking at things to buy lately. Like I know it sounds kind of weird because you're seeing hauls and everything like all the time from me. And like haul pictures and stuff. And I know I need an intervention. Like I'm telling you, I know. Um, but I have not gone looking for sales. I have not gone looking for new vendors lately because I have so much stuff. And I did 30 something hauls within the last three, four months. Um, I counted them and it's crazy. Like I have 90 something pictures on my wax Instagram and 30 to 40 of them are wax hauls. And then a good 10% of them are bath and body hauls. So I'm just buying stuff like crazy and I need to stop. I need to cut it out, honestly. I'm just running out of room. I'm running out of space. I can't melt fast enough, like as fast as I'm buying stuff. And that's the reality of it. Um, I'm gonna go more into detail into another video and I'll let you guys know what's gonna be happening within the next few weeks, next few months. Um, I'm definitely going to be cutting down on buying a lot and you guys will notice that so there's not going to be as many hauls But there's still going to be some really cool videos loaf chopping wax collection videos storage videos um, in-depth collection videos um, a lot of warm reviews uh, Just some reviews in general and just some other fun videos that I have planned now That's not to say that I'm not going to buy at all Like I'm not going to put myself in a ban because that never works. It never ever works for me I say you're not buying anything. I can't just cut myself off like that. It's kind of like quitting smoking You know what I mean? It's like I'm stopping cold turkey. That's it. No more and 90% of the time I feel like I'm gonna fail so there's no point in doing that. I'm still gonna buy stuff I'm just not gonna buy as much or as many times a week <laughs> that I'm buying. I mean, let's just get real here. All right, so I'll get into that into another whole video. Um, and I would really, really appreciate you guys' thoughts and comments on that, um, on the video when I post it, because I will be filming it tonight. Um, your thoughts, your opinions, you know, anything, uh, video ideas that you can think of that you might want to see, stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.